good. I am Prophet Charlie and Denise Host. And we are here, right here, in the conference room at the church. Just wanted to welcome you at the table. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. We just give God praise today because this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And the Bible says that all things give God praise. So come on, let's praise Him because God has been good to us. God has been so good to us and I just want to thank Him. So we just thank you all of our virtual watchers who are watching tonight. We pray that something will be said and done that you can use this week to get you through. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. How are you doing, Bishop? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so glad to be here tonight to share this Bible study, this time of walking in the Word with all of our viewers and our listeners. This is the day uh, that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice as always and be glad in it. Listen, I want you to press that Facebook Live button and share this message with all of your family and friends let them know a word is coming tonight that's going to be a blessing to their life. And we know it's life-changing. I can't wait to get into this word tonight as we have a casual conversation in the word of God. Get ready. It's going to happen in just a few minutes. Go ahead and share and tag your friends for this broadcast. Let's go ahead and lead us in prayer as we get started. Father, we just want to thank you for this day, God. We pray, God, that you will bless all those virtual watchers who are watching, God. We pray, God, that you will be with them, God, as they go out and as they come in. We pray for the peace of God upon them and for them, their homes, God. God, we just want you to know, God, that we love you, God, because you first loved us, God. And God, we just give you praise and glory for everything, God. God, you are worthy of all the praise and you are definitely worthy of all the glory. And God, we just lift you up and magnify your name. God, because your word said, if I be lifted up, you will draw all men unto thee. God, draw those who don't know you in the part of their sins to you, God. Lord God, we just want to thank you for this day and for giving us this day our daily bread. In your precious only begotten Son, Jesus' name, we pray. And we thank you, Lord. We love you with all our hearts and all our soul. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Oh, my God. We are so ready tonight uh, to share this message and this ministry. The Lord has been extremely good and extremely kind to all of us. And we, can, we cannot thank him enough for all that he has done and for all he is doing. Amen. Uh, not only here at the Hope, but right there in your home as well. So yes. thank you for joining us tonight. We're in the conference room of the church, and uh, we wanted to uh, get this word out so that uh, it could sanctify your soul. And God is going to do it again tonight in Jesus' name. Well, again, happy Mother's Day uh, to all of our moms. This past weekend, yes. we celebrated Mother's Day all over the world, all over the land. And what a, um, uh, a powerful day that was. And mm -hmm. hopefully uh, all you moms were, were blessed beyond your wildest dreams, families, and friends poured into you like never before. And uh, thank you so very much for being so kind and loving uh, to our prophetess, Prophetess Charlene. So. Yes, I can't, I can't thank you enough. And I just want to say, like I said on Sunday, mothers, you are all angels sent by God uh, and just to love us, God, unconditionally. And we just want to thank you. You are beautiful inside and out, and you deserve all that you got. You deserve it. God is so good. And we just want you to know that we love you. And we definitely appreciate all that you've yeah. given, you've done yeah. Mom, for us. Moms mean so much to all of us. And uh, and we cannot thank you enough for all that you do every day, yes. day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. It's, it's because of your nurturing and your love, your caring and your sharing that many of us are who we are today. Mm. And uh, we thank God for your constant presence in the home and the community. And certainly your presence in the church. So we we thank God for you and for your presence and your prayers. Mm -hmm. uh, years ago, Prophet, you talked about the supernatural mother and everything like that and how valuable they are to the kingdom of God. Yes. And uh, uh, we will never forget those nuggets 
uh, that you have mm -hmm. shared to us in the past. Yeah, it's something about, yeah, I said about a supernatural mother. You know, God puts soup on our neck. <laughs> Mama can do everything. Mama know where everything at. Mama figure it out. Mama get it done. She make a way. She can bake the cake. She know how to take care of the children. She got to run to the stove. She got to, um, something just come up in a, a matter of a minute and Mama is there. How she does it, I don't know, but I know that there's anointing on her. And it ain't just anointing, it's a supernatural anointing that God has put on her. She's a, she'll love you when everybody else hates you. Mama would know how to figure it out. She just got all the answers. And it's nothing like mom. No, she's an organizer. She's creative. Yeah. She's a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. She's an entrepreneur. She's a Proverbs 31 woman in and out uh -huh. every day. So, yeah, God God put Superman on your natural. Yeah, you know, I, We call you super mom. And, and you know, and one thing about it, we couldn't do it without God. We couldn't do it without God, and I don't want to do it without God. So, so to all you mothers again, <clears throat> happy Mother's Day. I know you had a wonderful Mother's Day. And kids, those that still have your mother, love, love them. them. Love, love them. them. And some of you may not have been love a mother, them. but you have mothers, your nieces, your nephews, your friends, children. Or some of you took in the, the, the responsibility after, or to raise somebody else's child. So you've been a mother to them. You were, they, when they're biological, but you've been a mother. You poured into them. You sold into them. And, and God is going to bless you for everything that you've done and you're and, doing. And you know, the thing about it is that children never forget. Mm -mm. Uh, a real child never forget the love of his or her mother. So uh, it is our time now, you know, husbands and, and children, it's our times now to pour back in uh, to our wives and, and to our moms uh, to let them know. Let them know how much we appreciate them. Don't let this, don't let this day go by. So if you mm -hmm. missed it on Sunday, hey, you still got this week. Mm -hmm. You still got time. So as long as life and blood is running warm, you still got time to make a tangible effort yeah. uh, to pour into your mom and to let her know. Uh, I don't care how you do it. You find a way. You create yeah. a way. You, you, you make a way. And uh, you let them know just how much you care and appreciate them for all that they do. Yes. And they, we do. And Bishop, they they, they got so many <clears throat> arms. We think mom just got, I mean, like a million arms. They got an arm. Yeah. They know everything. They can do everything. Yeah. They can figure out everything. Mom, what? Well, we, we all our burdens, everything we have, we take it to mom. Mom can fix, fix it. She know how to soothe us. She know how to hold us. She know how to <laughs> caress us. Mom can do it. When she just kissed the baby. I mean, sometimes when they can't get them to the doctor, there's something about when you hold that child in your arm. It's something about when mom rock them, when mom just hold them. You just feel so much better. Yeah. You know, the first thing a baby cry when the, when he first or she first come in the world, the first word they speak is mama. Daddy come later, but mama come oh, first. Mama. <laughs> so, mama, we love you. And uh, the song sung years ago, I will always love, love my mama. mama. Amen. Mama, mama, always. I always love my mama. Uh -huh. Whether she's here or not, I will always love my mama. mama. Amen. She's yeah. my special girl. Yeah. Amen. Well, listen, um, you preached the word on Sunday, girl. You let the Lord use mm -hmm. you, and you gave us rhema all day long. You were in you were in a, a zone on, on this mm -hmm. past Sunday. And uh, what I wanted to do tonight was to uh, uh, to reflect back on some of those points because they were they were so powerful, and I know that the time that you had to share that in the Word, you know, we're on a time schedule uh, in the house of God. We can't, you know, really go deep into those points as we wanted to. But you know, uh, those are some phenomenal points you gave, mm. and uh, I want to uh, take some time tonight. You okay. know, we we'll take our time tonight uh, to bring forth those three main nuggets. Uh, that that you shared with us. The word the word came from First uh, Samuel, First okay. uh, Samuel, uh, chapter one. Mm -hmm. uh, story about Elkanah Tell and me. Hannah and Panana. Yeah, but well, you know Elkanah, he was he was the father. He had two wives. He had one wife named Panana, uh, who had children, had sons and daughters, and he had his wife that he loved with all his heart, Hannah, uh, which was barren, and she had no children. And, uh, but she wanted to give Hannah something, you know, from her. That was her heart. Uh, but she couldn't. She couldn't because no, her womb was shut. Her womb was shut. 
and uh, you you set that that word up so powerful on Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I want you to uh, to to share tonight um, those those points, uh, those three points, and then we're going to go back and dig into those three points because you it was it was so phenomenal. So what was the three you, things you, you said can, about him? You can just chime in because you probably can remember more than I gave, <laughs> I gave it out. But I, the three points that I said. I said that Hannah was provoked, okay. Hannah prayed, and Hannah was given a promise. And Hannah was given a promise. Wow. Hannah was provoked, uh -huh. number one. Hannah prayed, number yeah. two. Did I write this down? Yeah. And Hannah was given a promise, you know. Yeah. So those are the three points yes. uh, that uh, Prophet shared on mm -hmm. Sunday. And I don't want you to miss what you missed on Sunday or not to really hear which you should have heard on Sunday as a result of this powerful message, talking about the cry of a mother. Mm -hmm. and, what the, I'm just, and when I said about provoke, what does it mean <clears throat> to you when you hear the word provoke? Well, according to, to Webster, uh, the word provoke means to anger. It, it means to enrage. Uh, it means to stir up something. Um, it means to incite or to, uh, or to stimulate. You know, it always it is always done with the end point in mind of bringing out the worst in yes. the other person. Mm -hmm. So you want to provoke them to do something uh, that is not natural. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 you're, you're jigging, you're, you're jogging, and you're jeering, jagging, jagging at them. Yeah, but but we as women, and not just as women, all of us at some time or another in our lives, we have been provoked. You have been picked on. Uh, you, another woman. You, 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 you know. Sometimes we have children, and we, 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 we gain a little weight. Mm -hmm. or, uh, and then the other one, she's still fine as wine, cause you know she, she didn't bear no children. Wow. So she's still looking good, and they, they pick on you because now you got a little excess weight because you carried a little excess weight. Yeah. And they pick on you. They taunt you. They tease you. They, 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 they just make you feel, you know, feel uneasy. Make you feel. Less than. Yeah, make, make you think that you're not valuable. Yes. Or, or you're not worthy of the space that you're occupying. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people provoke you in so many ways. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many uh, ways and means where how people can provoke you. But let's look at the word, uh, uh, First Samuel. Because I think okay. the word First Samuel because gives us the precise manner in which Panana mm -hmm. provoked Hannah. Uh -huh. Well, it, it says here... In, uh, in, in chapter 1 and verse number 2, it, it talks about Elkanah, who was, the, who was the husband, and it says that he had two wives. Mm -hmm. The names of one was Hannah, the name of the other was Panana. Yeah. Hannah and Panana. Panana had children, yes. but Hannah had no children. Mm -hmm. This man went up from the city yearly to worship and sacrifice to the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. Also the two, of, two sons of Eli. Hufani and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. Mm -hmm. And verse 4 says, And whenever the time came for Elkanah, the husband, to make offering, look what he did. Mm -hmm. He would give a portion to Panana, his wife, and to all her sons and daughters. He would give a portion to, Hannah, to, to Panana, his wife, and to all of her sons and, and daughters. daughters. So you see, uh, Panana had several kids from... El but to Hannah, see verse number five, but to Hannah he would give a double portion, for he loved Hannah, although the Lord had closed up her womb. Mm. He loved Hannah so much. Hannah was the love of his life. <laughs> yes, she was. Hannah was the love of his life. She was the love of his, love of his life, but um, at that time, but, but Hannah was barren. Yeah. And, 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 and Panana, I mean, she, she, I guess he took on Panana because Hannah couldn't bear no children, so he took the other wife because at that time, at, you can be killed, Bishop, if you didn't have no children. Well, polygamy nowadays is, you know, it's not I looked mean, at. It's not the, looked the, at the husband could, could not kill, but he could, be, um, you know, be divorced. I mean, he yeah. didn't have to have I mean, today, today it wouldn't work. You know, today mm -hmm. that wouldn't work, especially if they were sisters. That wouldn't mm -hmm. work. They were, if they were sisters, that, this wouldn't work. Uh, but in that day... It was it was acceptable for a man to have more than one wife, mm. and Pan and Panana was the wife of reference, but Hannah was the wife 
of his heart. Mm, yes. And 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 because Hannah could not have any kids, Panana did, mm -hmm. and she had several from from uh, Elkanah, mm -hmm. sons and daughters. I'm not she sure of the total daughter. number. I thought it was you said six. six? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say she Wait has six sons and daughters. And then verse six, here is what here's what you got the first point from. Oh, verse number six says, and her rival, Hannah's rival. Her rival provoked her severely. That's where Hannah got provoked. Because she was jealous. Yeah. Her, her, and, and it says to make her miserable because the Lord had closed her womb. Yes. So it was year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord that she was pro, that she provoked her. Therefore, she wept and did not yeah. eat. Yeah, yeah, because she was so she she was envious of her. When somebody envious of you, my God, they'll do whatever it is. To pick at you, to beat you down, uh, 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 make you feel less than, less than valuable, less than good enough. She just kept jugging at her, kept wow. jugging at her, kept picking at her, kept teasing her. You ever had somebody tease you, or they picked at you, or maybe you had a handicap, or maybe you had something they um, 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 saw fit. Really, God had given you something else so valuable. This lady had a prayer life, but this other lady, she picked at her. Oh, I'm having the children. Can you imagine her rubbing Year after her? year. Yeah, rubbing. I mean, can you imagine year after Toy. year, they're going up to, to make sacrifice to Shiloh. I mean, the whole family had to go pay taxes, had to go pay homage. And year after year, because she had a kid this year, she may have had two, and then she would get to Shiloh, and she would look at Hannah and say, look at you. You, you don't have any kids. Oh. Look at me. You know, I mean, just jigging and jeering, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, because she was bearing. Mm -hmm. And because and because Hannah was barren, yeah, she was barren, but Hannah was barren, barren. yeah, yeah. What? yeah, meaning she she couldn't, but she could, and she used that, she used that as a weapon, as a weapon to discourage, to uh, incite, and to aggravate Hannah, mm -hmm. to the point where the Bible said it happened year after year. It happened year after, after year. She keep talk, torching her, torching there, look, her. Look at verse 7. So it was year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord that she provoked her. Therefore, what did Hannah do? Mm -hmm. Hannah wept. Hannah she cried. Wept. She cried out to God. And I'm, I'm like this. What do you do when somebody keep on provoking you, keep on picking on you, keep on teasing you, keep on nugging at you, just, just jugging, jabbing at you, and they keep on? Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Well, see, the, the and that 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 led you to your to your second point. That was because of her provocation, because she was being provoked, because what the pressure and the pain that came along with it, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the pressure of not being able to be productive, and the pain because she could not bear, you know, even brought about some in some cases want to make Hannah feel ashamed. Mm -hmm. But you know what? But what, what did Hannah do, Sean? She didn't retaliate. What did she do? She went to God in prayer. She prayed. It's something about a praying mother. Point number two. She prayed. <laughs> Point number two. She, she prayed. She didn't she she didn't play. What she do? She she prayed. She did not play. She got in the face of God and she began to tear it. She began to, to tell God about her situation, her circumstance, and her condition. She began to talk to God. God, if you give me a son, what she said. Oh, I give it back to you. Yeah, and, and, and so she prayed. And, and your sermon title was The Cry, right? The, uh -huh. cry, the, the, the cry of a Mother. The Cry of a Mother. And, the cry of a and mother. not only, not only when, I, when I heard that, you know, not only did she cry physical tears, right? Yeah. When she wept. The Bible says here in verse number 7, so it was year by year, she went up to the house of the Lord that she, that she provoked her, therefore she wept. Mm -hmm. And did not eat, so she couldn't eat. Listen, mm -hmm. because she was provoked because of the pain and the shame, she couldn't eat. And therefore, when she went up to to serve the Lord to worship, rather than partaking, she just cried. Because mm -hmm. it was so, she was deeply she cried agony. It, it, it was so hurtful. It was so painful that that she picked on her. Can you imagine you loving your husband? And you want to give him a part of the, the the both of you, a part of you a part that can live on and carry the name, and then this other woman, um, uh, 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 I'm provoking you, what I got, I don't have for your, my, my husband, your husband. You knew she was jealous because he loved her more. 
He loved her. He loved her. He gave her a double portion. She, yes, he gave um, Panana some. What did he give her? Uh, he, he gave her a portion. Yeah, he her, gave her, her something. And her children. He gave he gave Panana and her and her kids something, but he gave Hannah double. Like Hannah, you got my heart. I mean, you got you got. I give I give I'm giving you all that I have and more. Is that not enough? And, and you know, in Hannah's heart, she's saying no. Say so you don't understand, Elkanah. You don't you don't understand the game. You know that that Panana is partaking in to bring shame to me. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and and it, it it drove her to the point where she started crying, physical mm -hmm. tears. Physical, I mean, physical tears that she saw. Mm -hmm. this, this was the cry, physical tears. And then verse number eight. Watch this, verse number eight of this chapter in the number one and first. You gotta read the story. It says, "Then Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you cry? Why are you sobbing? And and why are you not eating?" He was concerned. He was watching, but he didn't understand, but he was watching. And so many times, the husband just don't understand the pain mm -hmm. of a mother. He, he don't understand the pain of the mother. And, 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 and Hannah was so painful. And, 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 but it, don't ever allow the enemy, the adversary, to keep you from getting to God. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you got to press when, 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 when. when when, 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 when the pain, you, you can't even talk. She couldn't even talk. No, no. And Elkanah only saw the out. Elkanah, you know, only saw the outer, the outer of, of Panana, mm -hmm. of, of Hannah. He only saw the outer of Hannah, his wife. He saw the tears, and he saw, he saw her not eating. And then he also sensed her heart. He says, and why is your heart grieved? That's what that's what Elkanah is saying. Hannah, you're not you're crying, you're not eating, and and why why is your heart grieved? Heavy. And and he thought it was him. He said, "Am I not better to you than ten sons? You know, I'm your husband. You know, I know you don't have kids, but am am I not better to you than ten sons? He didn't understand. Mm -mm, he didn't un he didn't understand the pain, the debt, the bitter, the the the. the, the the, the agony, the bitterness, the grief, the, what, what this other person was the telling The aggravation. You. Sometimes people can do some stuff to you that, oh my God, it just, it, 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 it go to the core of your bones and it hurts so bad. And there's nothing like inner tears. It's nothing like when you're crying and you're crying and you're trying to talk to God and there's nothing coming out. Yeah, yeah. So what happened here is that because of the provocation, the provoking of Panana to Hannah, because she was provoked, her pro her provokedness brought about her pain. Her bail to the pain. Yeah, it, it brought about her pain, mm -hmm. and her pain, her pain drove her to a place mm -hmm. of prayer. Look what it says in verse number nine. Prop, this thing is powerful. Okay, it says so. Hannah arose after they had finished. After mm. they had finished eating and drinking. See, they were eating and drinking. She couldn't. Drinking in shallow. Now, Eli, the priest, you're going to man of God, was sitting on a seat by the doorpost mm -hmm. of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul. This was Hannah. She was in bitterness of soul. They was prospering. They was happy. They were celebrating. But she was in bitterness in her soul. And the Bible says, and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. She cried out now. This is a different cry. Cry. The first cry that, that, that Elkanah saw were tears. Mm -hmm. But the cry that God saw was her petitioning mm -hmm. to him. And I'm telling she you, cried out she to cried the Lord. Out. One time her lips was moving, but, but uh, her, her, her voice could not be heard. Yeah. She had, that means you had not cried out. She couldn't even get no more. Her lips was just moving. But nothing. Her voice couldn't even be heard. You you talking? Y'all don't under. They didn't understand what she was saying, but God heard her heart. He knew what she was saying. She just talking, but wasn't nothing coming out. Yeah, yeah. Her, her, the, the hurt was so deep. Her pain, the pain, and the shame that she had to endure, and the bitterness that she felt deep in her soul, it, it drove her to a place of prayer. And I, we, we we can't we can't just march over this place of prayer. I think everybody. 
need to find a place mm -hmm. where they can pray. Everybody. What do you think, Shirley? Yeah, er everybody needs to find a place. I don't know where your place may be. Some, some, somebody plays is in the shower. Somebody plays to be in the car, the automobile. Somebody plays in the in the office room. Somebody plays can be in 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 in, 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 in a jail cell. Your place can be anywhere, but find you a place where you can get in the presence of God, because in the presence of God is the fullness of joy. And she was in bitterness. Now yeah. she she was in a place. Now she was in a low place. Now, listen, most of us want to pray when we're in a good place, but Hannah prayed when she was in a low place. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to pray where you are until your breakthrough comes. Until your deliverance shows mm -hmm. up. You know, you can't let your pain, you know, become the blame for you not praying. You can't let your bitterness, you know, keep you from not getting better. Mm. You, you, got, you got to press in. I don't care where you are, on the mountaintop or in the valley. Mm -hmm. And even while the Bible says she was in bitterness of soul and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. She prayed and she wept in anguish. Mm -hmm. Then she made a vow and said, look what she said while she was praying. O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your maidservant and remember mm -hmm. me and not forget me, and not forget your maidservant, but will give your maidservant a male child. Look, mm -hmm. look at the, 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 uh, how she prayed with specifics. She said, Lord, just don't give me a child. Give me a male, male child. child. Somebody to carry the name. Yeah. I mean, even though Eric and I say, isn't he better than 10 sons? No, I need a son, a, son. a male child, a male child. She said, if you give me that, she said, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life. No razor shall come upon his head. Mm -hmm. This was the law of the Nazareth. No razor shall come. I won't cut his hair. His, I, Lord, if you give him to me, I'll give him back to you. Mm -hmm. That was a prayer. Yeah. God, you gave, you, you, you gave him to me. You gave me the desires of my heart. God, you gave me a son. And God, I promise, if you give him back to me, I'll offer him back up to you. I'm going to turn him back over to you, Lord. God, if you just give me a male son, God, to carry your name, God. Lord God, I've been picked on. I've been torn. God, I've been it's called I'm, ba I'm barren. God, but if you open up my womb, God, and God bless me with a son for my husband, for us, God. Lord God, I, I thank you, God. I won't put no raise on his head, God. I'll make sure, God, he's getting to church, God. I'll make sure we teach him your ways, God. I'll make sure, God, Lord God, he He know how to pray. We'll, we'll teach him what thus saith you, the Lord God. Well, I'm going to do whatever necessary, God, for, for this boy to know you, God. God, I'll give him back to you, God. You gave him to me, God, because I was faithful. I prevailed in prayer. And that's what we got to do. We got to prevail in prayer. We got to oh, seek God. Good. We got prevail to, oh, prayer. my God, don't you stop when somebody's picking on you, when somebody's teasing you, when one, some, somebody's jogging at you. You just prevail. Keep doing it over and over and over. Get God's attention. Get God's ear. I don't care. I don't care. You Maybe your mouth won't, no words won't come out, but your heart, out of the heart flows the itches of life. Let's, let's stay here for a minute. We, we see what Hannah did. Because of her pain, her anguish, uh, because she was provoked. She was specific. Because Hannah, Hannah was, was pressured from Panana because she had no children. Now, and her prayer was centralized around giving God give me a male child so I can shut her mouth up. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the reasons today, today, why people, women, mothers, should pray? I mean, I mean, when they're in there, what, just give me a few reasons why and what they should ask God for. The reason why we ought to pray because uh, 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 prayer changes things. The reason we ought to pray because you want to cover your children, the blood of Jesus to protect them as they go out and come in. You want to uh, the pray because of your marriage, that God keep your marriage uh, you on one accord. You want to pray that, God, you keep us healthy, keep us safe. The reason why we want to pray, we want to pray because we want to be in the presence of the Lord. The reason why we want to pray, because we want to cover our children, cover our family, cover our loved ones with the blood of Jesus. We want to pray because we want to draw nigh to God, for God, 
our voice won't become a stranger, that he know our voice. We pray, God, because I want to be in the presence of the Lord, in God's company. And when I need him, he know my voice. My, my, my voice is not a stranger. Even he know my heart. When I can't even get a word out, God know what's the intention of my heart because I done been in his presence. In his presence. Hallelujah. We are, we women, we have always been picked on. Talk to sometimes our own husband, the husband, they'll talk about you. They 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 taunt you. And many of you women, we are we 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 we're in relationships and you have to pray, not play, but pray. Pray to God because God is the one to keep that on one accord. The enemy is out there to, to, to cause separation. But when we pray, it keeps things together. You got to pray. Some of y'all got to pray because you're your mothers. You're on your own. You're raising the children by yourself. God, I can't do this. I don't want to do it without you. I need you. But see, and, and here's the key. When you read this text, you know, as she's praying because of her anguish and because of her pain, she's praying to God. America. And, 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 and many a times when you pray to God, you don't have to be, you don't have to pray that others can hear you. It doesn't matter what they hear or what they think. It all matters what God thinks. So you make your petitions known to God. And the Bible says this in the Hebrews 4 and 16, just going forward. He said, let us go boldly before the throne of grace that we may find what? Help, help in the time of our need. And I believe Hannah knew that help could be had, you know, and her needs could be met if she went to God. Mm -hmm. And she went to God in private prayer. Let me, let me stop right there. This was private prayer prayer time. She wanted she wanted God to know her heart. So her heart was speaking to God, you know, even though her mouth moved but words wasn't uttered, her heart was speaking volumes to God. Mm. But look, look, look what happened here in verse 12. Watch this. This, this is powerful because the Bible says as it happened, as she continued praying before the Lord, right, that Eli, the priest, watched her mouth. Mm-hmm. Now Hannah spoke in her heart. That's what I'm getting at. Hannah spoke in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. And therefore, Eli, even the priest, thought she was drunk. Because here go a woman in pain, in distress, in anguish, because of being provoked. She prayed to God for a miracle, a breakthrough. And because he didn't hear what she really had to say, God heard it. Mm -hmm. God definitely heard her. You don't have to, they, they, they don't have to hear when God with out of your heart, when you pour out with all your heart and all your soul, That's what I'm about. God, 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 God hear you. The, it, the, the prayers of the righteous, when you in the right standards with God, in the right relationship with God, when your heart is right towards God, God hears you out of the heart, out of her heart was flowing the issues of the provoking wow. what this wow. woman was, was taunting her, was teasing her, was picking at her, was jabbing at her. I mean, stabbing her. Oh, my God, laughing at her. Nah, 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 nah. This and that. You ain't got this. I got all these children. You got all them, the children, but she had the heart. And not only did she have the heart of her husband, she had the heart of God. Yeah, and, and not only is it children, but it, it, could, it could have been place of living, place of abode. It could have been, uh, it could have been sickness, you know. It could have been some type of disease, you know. Uh, whatever the reason was because of why she was provoked, you know, her enemy, right, used that as the catalyst to provoke her. And whenever the enemy used something he think would give him the upper hand, guess what? God is ready to turn things around in your favor. Yes, he is. And I, I just want to <laughs> say this. Even though um, she couldn't have no children, and, and it may be a lot of you, who did not have children, and you could have had children. But don't devalue or uh, underestimate the power of the essence of God because you don't have children or uh, 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 you are less than, you are more than because you continue yeah. to more. pour more into more. other children. You pour more into your family, more into your loved ones. You, 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 you're not devaluing. We're not devaluing you. I'm building you up. I encourage you. Hallelujah. That don't make you less than. You don't help raise your niece. You don't help put someone to college. You don't help pour it into somebody else's son or some somebody else's daughter. You've been you've been a vessel of God that God can use to, to pour into them and let, let God to and show it, them. You, you was an encourager. You was a mm -hmm. nurturer. You was 
you was a feeder. You know, you fed not only your family, but you fed uh, your block, your neighborhood. Kids came to your house because they didn't yeah. get a meal. Folks came to, around you because they know they can get a word. They can get confident. They, you know, they can be careful. Yes, for. yes. So, so therefore, you, you was the one that God used to make a difference in the neighborhood. Not only mm-hmm. in your family, but in the neighborhood. Uh, your light, you know, never went out. Your light always shined brighter, even in obscurity. Your light shine even brighter. And I heard the Lord, you know, as you were talking that, uh, preaching that word Sunday, the Lord said, I'm the only one. God said, I'm the only one that can help what's, what's hurting. Mm. I'm the only one that can heal where you where, where you hurt. And and therefore, we just got to know where to go to, who to run to. And Hannah ran to the Lord. Now, Eli, the man of God, check this out. Eli, the man of God, you know, was looking on. He was observant now, mm-hmm. but he was looking at Hannah as if she was drunk, because Hannah must be was pressing in. I mean, yeah. Hannah, Hannah forgot about everybody around her. Hannah, Hannah got in a place in prayer where she said, "I just don't care." Cause that's what pain will make you I, do. I'm gonna call on him, baby, on his name. Baby. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what it appeared to be. But I'm in the presence of God, and I need something from God, and I'm desperate. Uh huh. But that's what what happened to you. That's what happened to the lady with the issue. When you got some issues, it'll make you press in. I'm gonna get to God anyway ne- necessary. The lady who had the issue of blood, yeah. let me. I, I, who I know knees. it's a crowd. It's a lot. I get on my knees. I'm gonna crawl if I can touch. Him. And that's what I'm. A, she touched him in prayer. Yeah. She touched him with her praise. She touched him with her cry. She touched him with her persistence. She <laughs> touched God. That's what we gotta do. Somebody out there right now, you need to. Touch God. Yeah. Pray. <laughs> see, see <laughs> Hannah, Hannah was praying. And Bishop. And the Bible say, e- Eli said, that, that woman drunk, man. See, mm-hmm. ha- ha- and then Hannah spoke, spoke in her heart. Her lips were not moving. Yeah. So Eli said to her, how long will you be drunk? Yeah, then you can call me what you want, a drunk or whatever. How, how, but long, how long will you put wine uh, you need to put that wine away. Till I get you, God's attention. <laughs> Till I get God's attention. He's, I want your attention, God. I want you to know. Hear my cry. I know others are crying, but while others are crying, Lord, I'm I'm pressing. I'm calling you. I'm believing in you. I'm trusting in you, God. I'm crying out to you, God. I need you. And this, if, this, 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 she's picking on me. If this, enough is enough. If this was 21st century, the preacher would have said, girl, what you been smoking? Or what you been taking? What kind of pill you been taking? You know, because you're doing some stuff now that's not natural the way you pray. I ain't never seen nobody pray like that. Uh, I'm already made bad. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody mm-hmm. petition God like that. I ain't never seen nobody go in like that. Mm-hmm. You know, so you got to be on something. Matter of fact, whatever you own, you need to put it away. That's what it says right here. He said, put your wine away from you. But now, Hannah speaks. Yes. Hannah speaks in verse 15. But Hannah answered and said, no, my Lord. I am not a woman of, he say, uh, I'm, I'm a not, woman. Not, no. I say, I'm a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor mm-hmm. intoxicated not drink, then. but have poured out my soul to the Lord. That's what I've done. I just poured out my soul to the Lord. Mm-hmm. And do not consider your maidservant a wicked woman, for out of the abundance of my complaint you know and grief, I have spoken unto now. I need thee. Yeah. See. <laughs> Uh, Say, I, I may not have done it the way you wanted to see me do it, but I've done it the way that I know God mm-hmm. could hear me. You pouring out, you pouring out, pouring out. You keep pouring out, and God go immediately pour in. And some we pour out our hearts when we are hurt. That's what we women do. We pour out. Sometimes we pour out and we talk to other women. We talk to other women. We tell other people our problem. They not the problem. So our God is take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to Jesus. Take it to God. Hallelujah, pour out. You can just tell him, and God can move. He'll turn that situation around yeah. for your good. Let me say something to you, and women. it doesn't make sense you're going to you. have a listen, baby. You, when it's time for you to pray, listen, you press in. Because nobody know, nobody really know, what you are dealing with or what you are going through better than you. And only you can make your petitions known unto God. Listen. Mm-hmm. You got to do what you got to do to make it known unto God. Get in a place. And you don't, you don't have to be in church. It could be in your home. It could be in your living room. It could be while you're preparing meals. It could be yes. you know, any place in your house. 
It could be in the marketplace. Whenever you got to go before God, listen, mm -hmm. don't worry about what other people may think or say. You do what you got to do to make your petitions known, and, made known and unto, unto God. God. And that's an, it's, it's not... It's not based on whether or not you can have children. Yeah. It does not matter whether you're, you're barren or you're not barren. It does not matter. You can go to God for anything, any situation, yeah. any circumstance, yeah. anything it. that you may be going through. It does not matter. It's not just pregnant women alone, but we all are women in need. We have been taunted on. We have been picked on. We have been jabbed at. Yeah. Yeah. We have been, oh, 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 pick that. Yeah. It does not matter. But we can go to God and take it to God. You can take it to somebody who understands. Some people don't understand. They join in with those who are picking on you, talking about you, because you, you don't look like them, or you don't have what they have. You're able to buy a big car. You're able to do this here. You got this, and I don't. You stay in a big old house, a six-bedroom or a five-bedroom, or you just stay in a house, and I'm in the projects. I'm, I'm in a one-bedroom. I might be homeless, but you taunting at me because I don't have. You devaluing me because I don't have. Only thing I, I know, serve a God. God, God can turn this thing around. For my he good, can turn around for he, your good. He did it for Hannah, and he and can he'll do, it do it for, it for you. you. We love y'all. The, the, the Bible says this. Ooh. The Bible says in verse 17, this is getting better. After being provoked, after praying, after being provoked and getting in the face of prayer, now you're ready to receive the God's promise. I'm telling you. And one thing about it already. Here's the and promise. I, and I ain't drunk. Here's the promise. Then Eli answered, verse number 17. Here it is. Then, then Eli, after he understood what she was dealing with, and what she had to do to get before God, then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition. And he's the man of God, speaking blessings. Grant your petition, Unto which you have asked of him. Ask, and you shall receive. Knock, and it shall open. Seek, and you shall find. Now, you can have whatever you say. If you believe it in faith. So Eli perceived that she was making her request by faith, even out of her pain. Mm. And he said, go in peace and may the Lord of Israel, the God of Israel, grant your petition that you have asked of him. Mm. And she said, after mm. hearing that, because she know when the man of God speak, God blessing cannot renege. God cannot renege on his blessing. So she said, let your maid servant find favor in your sight. So the woman went her way. And guess what she did? She ate mm. and her face was no longer sad. You see what when you when you when when, when you get up and pray, you see what happened? Prayer changed things. Oh my God. It changed things and it changes you. It, oh God. It changed your facial expression. Yes. It changed your inward person. It you changed your does. demeanor. When you when the crying, it make, make make you smile, it make you laugh. It just Prayer make you strong when it, you've been it, awake. Pick you up. Prayer pick you up when you've been put so down. So when you cry out to God, and, and some of y'all cry out to God, you've been crying out to the wrong person. Cry <laughs> out to God. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Like I said earlier, for your families, cry out to God. For your husband, cry out to God. Cry out for oh. your communities. Cry out for the spiritual attacks on your family. Yeah. Cry out against sickness and disease. Cry out to God because God can heal every disease. We got the enemy in this world. We in this world, but we not, not of this world. world. So cry out for those who don't know God and the part of their sins. Cry out that they be saved for salvation this day. Now, did, oh, God. Did, 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 did the answer show up right there? Uh-uh. But she had confirmation. She knew that in her heart God had heard her cry. He heard. And she knew right then that she had a word that she could hold on to. Hold on. Because the promise was spoken. The promise was released. Please. And she had a word from the Lord, from the Lord, from the man of God, that she could hold on to. And you know what, Bishop? Uh -huh. When the Lord gave you a word, you, you can and, hold on to it. And, and you know that word is sure. It will manifest. Yes. It may not happen today. It's going to come to pass. It may not happen tomorrow. tomorrow. It may not happen next week. But listen, that only means it's a delay, but no, it's not, not, not a denial. denial. But, but what happened with him? Hannah, this is what happened. What happened? The body of then, then they rose early in the morning. Yeah. Because Hannah now, Hannah now, she's okay. She perked up. The, then they rose early in the morning. Get up. And look what happened. And worship before the Lord. And returned and came Thank to their you. house in Ramah. Thank you. And Elkanah Whew. 
knew Hannah his wife. Ooh, you love it now. What you don't get to understand what happened. He knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord, the Lord remembered her. Mm. So it came to pass in the process of time that Hannah conceived and bore son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked for him from the Lord. Mm -hmm. It may be a delay, but it's not. But it's denied. never denied. And I just want to say to y'all, trust and believe God that he can fulfill every promise that he has given to you. You must cry out to God in prayer. Now, when they went back to Ramoth, when they went when they went back to Shiloh to worship in verse number 21, listen, Hannah didn't forget what she said. Hannah said, God, if you give me a child, a male child, I'll give it back to you. And guess what she did? She gave that child back to God. Back to God. And he was raised up in Eli, the mm -hmm. priest's house. So she kept her promise. She kept her promise. God kept, kept his, his promise, promise. And she kept her and promise. And she kept her promise. So she didn't get amnesia. She didn't get spiritual amnesia. Amnesia, like some of us say, you know, some of us say we're, we're on our sick bed or we don't have, Lord, if you just deliver me out of this, Lord, if you just get me out of this jam, I promise you, I'll go to church, I'll pay my tithes. And then as soon as God raised you up, you forget everything you said. Yeah, I'm telling you. Hannah didn't forget. And it's by the grace of God that he answered her prayers. Hannah didn't forget. And the eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous. Yeah. And his ears are open to hear. Ooh, what they have I'll to say, you know, you know, you know. David said this as we get ready to close this thing out, man. This, <laughs> this was a powerful word. I thought Sunday was excellent. I mean, you, you poured out, but David says, you know, God is so interested in what we have to say, you know, that He inclines His ear to hear. He leans over out of His chair, His throne, just to hear what we have to say. So when our, when our hearts speak to God, because he, no, he examines the heart, not no much with our lips, but he hears our heart. And, when, and when, when you speak to God from your heart, you know, tell him what's on your mind. That's why the song says, take your burdens to the Lord, you know, and leave them there, every one of them. Leave them there. So that when you get up from prayer, you got a promise. promise. Every time you take it to God, Make your petitions known to him every time you call on him. And when you get up from prayer, you ought to have a promise that you can hold on to. In every promise. Grandmama said, Mama said, I know my grandma. He may not come when you want him. But when he show up, he's always, he's always on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day. Somebody say yes, he Happy is. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Pray for that boy. Pray for that girl. Yes. Pray for your family. Pray for your neighborhood. Pray for your community. Pray for your church. Listen, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Prophets always say much prayer. Much power. Little prayer. Little power. No prayer. No power. We got to pray. And tell God who has all power. Prayer brings us to the doorstep to where God lives. Prayer brings us to the doorstep to where God lives. And because of prayer and being persistent and consistent, you said that Sunday, mm -hmm. she was persistent mm -hmm. and she was mm -hmm. consistent. Even though just like her adversary, Panana, she was consistent <laughs> and persistent. In aggravating her. Oh, but God. Hannah was consistent you know, her and persistent in prayer until God gave her a promise. And you continue to be consistent and persistent. Yeah. yeah. I love the Lord. We love you all. He heard my cry. Right. Yeah. And he pitted my every groan. And as oh, long as trouble rise, I will hasten to his song. To his song. God is so good to mm -hmm. us, and he is worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. Mm -hmm. God is so worthy. God is so worthy to be, to be praised. Just trust him and believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We just thank God for you all today. We thank God for the word that was brought today. We've been blessed, and we know you have too. And we just give 
give God glory. Continue to be faithful. You, continue to be steadfast. And continue to hold on. For your mercy never fails. We love you all. To all our virtual watchers. Oh, I love you. Don't forget to join us for corporate prayer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 a.m. to 7. And that's when we meet God. Prayer brings us to the doorstep to where God lives. And while we're being persistent and consistent, we know that after prayer comes the promise. Yeah, yeah. So listen, call us. 857 832-0158. 857-232-0158. That's the prayer line number. And once you're there, press 789-086. 789086. That's the access code. Meet us in prayer on tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Don't miss it now. Join us. Join us. And tonight, our grandson Jordan is playing in the uh, regional finals. If they win tonight, if they win tonight, yeah, if they win tonight, they go to the state championship. So we're praying for you, Jordan. All right, we want a home run. All right, team victory. Thank you, New Hope. Happy Mother's Day. See you on Sunday morning at the Hope as we worship God in spirit and truth. We love you. Jesus. Been faithful. God, you've been faithful. All my life. All my life. We gotta go, y'all. We out of time, but we never out of words. Love you. Yeah. Glory. Jesus. We thank you. We call your name. We magnify your name. We explore your name. We reverence your name. We love your name. We rejoice in your name. The good God. The faithful. God, have your way. Move by your spirit. Somebody needs you right now. Somebody needs a healing. Somebody needs deliverance, God. Somebody needs some doors open, God. God, make a way, God. Have your way, God. Go out, God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, stir up the gifts in your people, God. Have your way, God. Put soup on their natural, God. Lord God, have your way, God. Eyes have not seen your ears have heard the great things, the good things that God has in store for you. The best is yet to come. I prophesy the best is yet to come. The overflow is about to come. Doors about to open. Ah, the way is already made. It's already made. God has already made the way. All you got to do is just keep on walking into it. Thank you, Lord. He's been faithful all my life, all your life. So good. All my life you have been so, so good. So good. Thank you. With every breath, every that breath I, am I take and you take. Oh, I'm going to sing of the goodness. The goodness. The goodness. Surely goodness and mercy should follow us all the days of our life. Surely goodness and mercy. Now, mercy on us, God. Thank you, Virtual Watchers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for pouring out. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, Lord God. You've been good, God. You've been good. Jesus. You are good to me. To my family. You've been good to me. I'm a think of your goodness. Thank you all. We love you. To God be the glory.